Bingo Bango. Hello, I'm Sydney Dr. Iyama Thomas. My pronouns are she, her, hers. How can I address you? Good morning. Hello. Welcome to a new week. It is now the second week. Um, as you can see, I'm um, oh, just kidding. Chilling. Um, I'm going to work from home today until I have to go to a mandatory class on campus at 3.30. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some breakfast. I am going to kind of clean up my area so that I'm not stressed by this and then uh, we're gonna start and play a game of catch up. Sorry, camera angle's weird, but I have no place to put my phone. So it's either on the side or somewhere else. Or um, I have my steering wheel in the way. So I didn't get quite caught up with lectures. I don't know what I was thinking that I could get through eight lectures in one day. It just, that's not it. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that. I mean, like, it's not terrible because the only class that I'm behind is in OPP. We're just kind of learning anatomy and landmarks. We're learning, like, what flexion, what plane flexion and extension are in. It's not terrible. It's just you have to think what's, like, forward and backwards and what plane divides the like the body in forward and backwards halves and that's the coronal slash the frontal plane so if i'm doing frontal and um what's the word flexion and extension it's a it's essentially going forward and backward it's just learning the language i think i'm going to skip my first lecture today just for the fact that I didn't preview anything, so it's not going to be helpful for me to um, to go to it. Because I'm just going to be lost. I'm feeling like that's... I can't continue to just skip classes because I don't know what's going on because I haven't had time to preview the material. But... I'm starting to think that I have a, uh, I can get a pattern of if I just like preview it, even on like, just like we have access to USNO LME, which is the board exam that we have to take. They have like, um, they make the first aid book. We have a, access to it online. And then we also have access to all the questions, um, which they said that that would be helpful for us and it goes through like certain topics in terms of what we need to know for boards and it breaks it down. What they do, they break it down in bricks, which is just a short passage. So we're now in week two and I have to edit some videos, but also figure out how to do that while still studying and not getting, uh, and getting caught up. Cause this weekend I didn't study because I had to go back to North Carolina and um, turn in my keys. So how I finished off, finished off yesterday, or well, really started yesterday, was um, I went through every single lecture. Every single lecture, because we're tri-campus, has to go, um, has to follow certain learning objectives. So if it wasn't in the learning objective or if I couldn't mentally like push my way through, it could be related then I didn't put it in there or if the slide just said FYI those kinds of things 
I'm planning on, we'll see how much I preview in 30 minutes. If I can preview it successfully, then I'll go to class. If not, I'm going to preview the material and then preview the material for the rest of the day. Um, which that sounds more productive than just one time, but we'll just we'll just see how far we get. Um, I gotta have a like my day's not long. I'm here until three, so from eight thirty to three, essentially, um, I'll probably stay until five and see how much I retain and all that other fun stuff. But um, I have some Anki cards to do. I need to actually finish my OPP lectures. Um, We'll just go from there. I brought lunch with me. I brought snacks with me. So I'm here for the long haul. Anyways, see you guys later. Oh, also, one of my coworkers got this for me at my last job before I went off to medical school. So shout out to you, Chelsea. All right. Hey, guys. I feel like I have lived a lifetime. Um, my brain feels like it's fried. It's only 6, 17. Um, I am, I don't know what to do, but it's epigenetics. I just don't, I didn't understand in undergrad, I don't understand it now. I mean, and I think really what's frustrating for me is that I can see notes where I actually understood it. And it, whatever I did to understand that, it's just out of my brain. I, I don't know. So I was going to stay until 6.30. Well, my original cutoff time was 5. But I was making progress in the slides. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep this momentum. I'm going to keep this momentum. And then I... So it was essentially on CPG islands. Like, I can explain it to you. I know what they are. They're... 5 prime to 3 prime CG sequences in the DNA. Essentially without going into any more specifics, because uh, I actually feel like I don't know it. So I guess I'm not going to be the one that's wrong about this. I haven't consulted any external resources. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just at a loss. I feel like it, like I feel like I might want to cry about epigenetics because like it's just I don't understand it like if we just forgot epigenetics I can understand most of everything else that's happening in genetics and why it's happening no so, like I just I'm I'm lost and it's just taking me like it's taken me now three days to try and understand this lecture material. And I think that maybe I just need to start with watching the lecture video because I haven't done that yet. It's kind of my own fault, but I don't know though because from the way that people were talking, they were saying that the lecture was not helpful at all and it just confused them more. And <sighs> where do I start? Well, I'm not even at a point where I could I could start proactively. I don't know, maybe I need to go to the gym. Maybe I need to like completely restart my mind. We had a osteopathic practices and principles lab. Our job was to look at asymmetries in our partner's body. Now I'm hyper aware of all of my asymmetries, so I'm feeling like I'm like being a little bit of a hypochondriac about it. And I'm feeling more lower back pain because I'm aware that my hips are off balance, off kilter. It's just, we're building this vocabulary and you're touching to build the vocabulary. I'm kind of along the lines of, I don't like, now I have all these asymmetries, now I'm feeling things. Maybe it's because I haven't set up my bed and like my actual, I mean, my mattress is very old. So I could just be having lower back problems because I'm literally not sleeping on a good mattress and it's not supporting my back. But then I also found out that I have flat feet. I don't know why I didn't know that I have them before. My arches are flat and so I don't have like an actual arch because every point of my foot is touching the ground. So it's not like normal arch like this. It's just flat. 
because my foot's flat, it's causing my knee to be like this instead of like this. And so that's like Vargas. So my knee is pointing inward because my feet, my foot is flat. But if it arches, it pulls it back in. And there's apparently like yoga you can do to fix it. Okay, so I wanted to come in. The main purpose of me talking to you guys right now is, but the reason why I felt like I needed to cry, because I just wasn't understanding things. And like when I explain it out loud, it seems a little silly. I was getting so worked up about actually doing it that I didn't do it. And then once I did it, I understood it. So I'm definitely going to look back at my last clip to see if I already understood it and I was like I was literally just tripping about nothing I just needed to watch the lecture I was really tripping about the fact that I couldn't just read the slides and understand them and that I needed additional help on a subject that I originally got a C in that's about all I got for you like I was literally just not using the resources that I had right in front of me and so I was unnecessarily stressing myself out for no reason. This is why I need to preview the lectures in order to ask questions on a higher level or understand the lectures because that's essentially how all of our professors teach is that you have to look at the material beforehand. There's no skipping out on it. I will be doing that for today. I have an infections and immunity lecture and it's pathogen pathogenesis. I'm gonna preview the lecture um, before 11. I'm actually on campus early. Anyways, so the plan for today is to preview my I and I lecture. Now that I have a firm grasp on Monday's lecture, I'm gonna do Monday's other two lectures. Well, I'll probably just do the two histology lectures so that I can actually do the labs today. I still have to go over, we had another I&I &I lecture yesterday that the um, professor did not have enough time to present. We didn't finish, I want to say like 40 slides. I'm a little late. I got up early, but I didn't make my lunch, so I had to make my lunch this morning. Luckily, my breakfast is fine, but like it always takes me a little bit. I take a little bit more time in the morning for myself because I don't, sometimes I don't do that at night or I haven't been doing that at night. Today's goal is to end studying by seven o'clock. I think we're going to watch a movie tonight and I'm going to actually decompress because I should be doing all the hard work because I only have one class today. Y'all, I just wanted to point out that my hair is giving um, the little black girl off of Matilda. I have already been up. I've been up since 6. I said at 2.39, I have to be at a mandatory class at 10. And then there's a Zoom class from 1 to 3 that's mandatory. And we have to wear professional work, so... So I'm just gonna probably just warm up my eggs again. My apartment complex has a machine, so I just use our Starbucks cup. And then I have this. Perfect. Now it's time for the good stuff. The stir. I'm going to show you guys how I'm studying right now. Probably not the best because it's not the most time effective. I use Notion. And I use this template. I don't remember who uh, made it. But I will tag her down below. She did an amazing job has a very cute aesthetic. It looks better with the white background, but very cute aesthetic. And I've kind of just made it my own. I haven't used every part of this, every aspect of this, but my med school home 
I haven't really put in the classes and everything, that's all basic. But here are all my courses, and then at the bottom, I have this week's task. Isn't terrible, but it's also not good, so... Seven letters that I need for my quiz. I'm probably knocking out like three or four a day. But it's also not counting reviews. So, like, the biggest portion of my time is getting taken up by just organizing the information in a way that makes sense to me. Hello, wonderful and beautiful people. This is Editing Ayana here. Um, I just found this uh, video and it was already edited, so I figured why not? So, we're going back in time. For week two of med school, um, I was real pressed in this uh, video and going back and looking at it, I really was stressing myself out for no reason. We are still working our way through the old footage. Um, I will have a newer video for you guys um, talking about my journey into medicine next week. You'll get some present day Yana with a little bit better filming skills just a little bit not a lot if you guys stayed this long in the video i want to thank you guys so much for supporting me if you haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video okay bye